Chevrolet 6.2 and 6.5 starter motors. I think it's easy. Diesels. I've always made it a my teachable moment website or uh, YouTube channel. Because if I wish I'd known something earlier than I did, I try to pass on the knowledge. So today's knowledge is direct drive and indirect drive, 6.2 and 6.5 starter motors. Last night, I was looking through my normal internet forums and CK5, Colorado K5, which is very good form for blazers. Uh, somebody was asking about, hey, I got a, my starter motor snapped off and broke the block. What will cause that? The guy didn't say what kind of engine he had. So I just, I read it and didn't respond. I thought he was talking about a small block or big block gas engine. Then he comes out, he has 6.2. Then he comes out, he didn't know about the bracket. And a lot of other people said, I don't know about this bracket. So I thought I'd share about the bracket. All right. Because the 6.2 and 6.5 diesels, or the 6.2 and the, and the CUCVs, this is a, uh, this truck is an 851009. CUCV, red, and my son daily drove while he was in high school for a while. I have another 1009 that I used to daily drive. Mine, being automatic transmission vehicles, if the starter motor goes, you're stuck. You can't start it. So I carried this surplus night vision goggle case with the direct drive starter motor that goes with the direct drive starter motor in the other 1009. This 1009, we had a reduction starter motor on. So we carried this. All right, reduction, smaller motor. And there's a gear in there that re reduces the speed of the motor down to the Bendix. Direct drive, big, huge brute force. Now, this thing has huge windings on it. This is a 27 MT. This is a 28 MT Delco starter motor. Both of these are Delcos. They are not replacements. Oh yeah, so look at that. If you have an older 6.2 or 6.5 diesel, no matter which starter motor you have, if it's a Delco starter motor, don't turn it in as a core. Rebuild it. The Humvee technical manual, the TM for the Humvee engine, has detail with pictures and everything else, how to take this all the way apart, refurbish it, put new parts in, put it back together again. Same with this, how to test everything rebuild it. The parts are not very expensive compared to what a new motor is. Because you turn this in, you're going to get probably a Chinese copy of a Mexican copy of a Korean copy of the original Delco part. Stick with Delco. It actually works. On my cow dog, uh, 6.5 Suburban, I went, I think I went through six aftermarket reduction drive 12 volt starters. They last about six or seven months. I'd turn in for a free warranty. Finally, I bought the bullet and bought a Delco, brand new Delco reduction drive starter. And that's been more than a year, and the thing starts every time. Okay. A couple things about these starter motors. One, starter bolts. They have knurling on them. You should have new bolts. They're not, not supposed to be reused. They're supposed to be for one-time use only. Do I do that? No. I have used these ones before. You can see the, the wear markings, the witness marks. But I carry spare bolts. Now, the direct drive, all of the diesel engines, Chevrolet G, uh, 6.2s and 6.5s, the starter motor has a bracket. This one goes on like that. That's the block. This is Delco part number. So I guess you can see it. One four zero two eight nine three one. They don't make this anymore. They don't sell it. But you see how it looks. It's just angle iron is bent with a hole here and a hole there. All right. The reduction drive starter motor has a different bracket. See, they're different. Totally different. This has a part number on it, N23502557. Five, five, 
you can still get these from Delco or GM. If you don't have these brackets, you will more than likely either snap the housing where the bolts go through on either starter motor style or the block, especially the outside one, because this is the, the, the crankshaft right here. So this is the outside of the block. This is the ear on the block, and it will snap off right about there. Have the bracket. Now. I've heard several reasons why they went to from the direct drive to reduction drive. Could just be it works better. Don't know. No one at GM wants to talk about it. Haven't asked either. Uh, these things are heavy. It is a two hand to pick up. This thing, no problem. Until you're underneath the car trying to do it, then it's kind of a problem. But you can one hand these. These things you're going to smash your nose trying to one hand it underneath the vehicle. All right. So 27 MT, 28 MT, different brackets. Get the right bracket for the for the vehicle or the starter motor. If you don't have, if you have a starter motor and no bracket, do not pull it on. Do not try it just once, because just once could snap everything. All right. Also, this big opening here. This is called the big mouth nose. This one is too. They're both the same, except different models, obviously. Uh, all of the CUCVs with the direct drive, a little bitty opening. It's just a little small thing. All this is filled in. This is the automatic and manual transmission version. So is this. All these came big mouth, as far as I'm aware. But the direct drives, if you see a direct drive that has a little bitty opening for the Bendix, and that's it, don't try to put it on a manual transmission like I did when I put the 6.2 in my 715. I got the engine transmission all in there, bolt one of these up off of a CUCV, 24 volt, and it wouldn't bolt up. The flywheel kept hitting. I was like, man, O'Reilly sold me the wrong flywheel. So I pulled the engine back out, pulled the clutch off, flywheel off, took the flywheel back, ordered another one, and the exact same part showed up. Then I realized I was an idiot, and I'd had the wrong starter motor. A lot of extra work, but big mouth for man manual. The big mouth will work on automatic and manual, but only the big mouth works on manual. All right. Hopefully you learned something about starter motors. Teachable moment for the day.